Hello everyone, uh, in today's tutorial I will show you a really cool quick technique that you can use when you want to add that kind of old age paper looked effect to your pictures as you can see in here, you know to give them that kind of old vintage look about them. And all uh, we are going to use is a texture of an old paper effect and of course the image that you will be using and then we'll add a little bit of tone into them. Now, there is two ways to apply this effect actually, and this depends on the picture that you will be using, whether it's a dark image or a light image. Now, in this tutorial, I will be covering on how to apply this uh, effect on the both images, a dark one and a light one. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and then open the texture that you can find down in the description below. And actually for the texture, it doesn't matter which texture you are using. Uh, this technique will work on whatever texture you want to use. Alright, so we're gonna start uh, with the, the light image. As I said before, we're gonna see two examples. We'll see how to apply this texture on a light image and how to apply it on a dark image. So we're gonna start with the light image. So we'll go and open this uh, image in here and as you can see it's a light image it has a lot of white in it so we'll take this texture and I will drag it and open it in this image in here all right now I'm gonna remove uh, the color from this texture so I will desaturate it so I will press ctrl shift u on my keyboard or you know you can go to image adjustment and choose desaturate all right, now we'll press Ctrl T and I'm gonna make it uh, bigger. So we'll press Shift Alt and I will drag it uh, right here and I will press Enter. Now I will press Ctrl L and uh, the level adjustment will open. Uh, so I want to brighten uh, the center area of this uh, texture. So we'll take this and I will drag it uh, right here and I will press OK. All right. Now, since uh, this texture we have in here, it's uh, a PNG format, I want to keep uh, the edges of the texture in here. So I'm going to select it. So we'll press Ctrl and one click to this uh, texture in here. And as you can see, it will load uh, the selection of uh, the texture. And I will save it. So we'll go to Select. And then I'm going to choose Save Selection. And I will call it Texture. And I will press OK. Now I have uh, the selection of this texture uh, saved. Now, uh, while uh, the, the, the selection is still loaded, I'm gonna hide uh, the texture in here, and then I will go to the image in here, and I will apply this selection on the image. So I would go to this uh, layer mask icon, and I would one click to it. And as you can see, it will cut it in the shape of uh, the texture. All right, now we go to the texture, and I will make it visible. And all I'm gonna do is I will change the blending mode of it to multiply. And as you can see, it directly will give it this really cool vintage look to the image with the shape of the texture in here. It looks really cool. Uh, linear burn also work. As you can see, it will give it more details and more uh, highlights to it. But I prefer to use uh, multiply. All right. Now I want to uh, give it uh, an HDR toning. But uh, for me to apply this uh, effect, uh, the documents it need to be flattened. If I go to image and adjustment and choose HDR toning in here, this message will open telling me that I need to flatten the document if I want to proceed. So I'm gonna press yes. And as you can see, uh, the, the image in here, it's flattened in one layer. All right, now in the edge glow in here, make the radius 22 and the strength make it 0 0.70 and uh, in the tone and detail in here keep the gamma 1 but in the exposure I'm gonna make it 0 0.14 and in the detail in here I'm gonna make it 70 and in the advance in here I'm gonna put the highlights minus 6 and I will keep uh, the saturation 20 and I will press OK and as you can see, this will give it this really cool uh, toning and HDR effect to it, which looks really good. 
if I go to my history in here and I will go back one step you can see the before and after as you can see it's really cool all right now I will go to select and I'm gonna load the selection that I saved earlier from the texture in here so I will in the channel in here make sure texture is select and press ok and as you can see this will load the selection that we saved and I will apply it to the image in here by one click to this layer mask icon in here and as you can see now we have it scarred from the background now we can use it on whatever background you want which is really cool all right now I'm gonna give it that kind of uh, vintage uh, tone into it so I will go to adjustment and then I'm gonna choose hue saturation and then I'm gonna make uh, the color as checked and I will give it this yellowish color just to give it this kind of vintage look to it that's uh, so around 50 in here and then I'm gonna make uh, the opacity around 30% and as you can see we have this really cool vintage look to the image in here and that's how you apply it on a light image now we're gonna see how to apply it on a darker image so we'll go and open this image in here I'm gonna take it and open it in a new window again and as you can see it's a dark image now we'll go again I'm gonna take the texture and drag it and open it in this image in here and again I'm gonna remove the color from this texture so I'm gonna press ctrl shift u and then I'm gonna press ctrl t and I will rotate it uh, right here so it will fit the image and I will make it bigger by pressing shift alt and drag uh, like this and I will press enter all right now again I'm gonna press ctrl and one click to the texture and as you can see it will load the selection and now I'm gonna save it again so I will go and choose select and then save selection and again I will call it texture and I will press ok all right now I'm gonna hide the texture for now and then I will go to the image and again I will apply a layer mask to it while the selection is still loaded so I will one click to it and as you can see it will cut the image in the shape of uh, the texture in here alright now we'll go to the texture and I will make it visible again and now because it's a darker image if I go and I will uh, change the blending mode to multiply as we did for the first image it won't give me that good uh, look that I wanted uh, even a linear bird it doesn't work all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna instead of using a multiply or linear bird we're gonna use screen and as you can see it will make it wider but that's okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna invert the values of this texture so I'm gonna press ctrl I to invert it or you know you can go to image adjustment and then choose invert and as you can see this will invert my uh, texture in here now uh, I'm gonna press ctrl L and I'm gonna darken the, the texture so I will take it from here and I will darken it just like when I see a really good result in my picture I will take this middle handle and I will darken it a little bit more from the mid zones in here just around here and I will press ok and as you can see we start uh, getting this really cool vintage look to uh, our uh, picture in here all right now i'm gonna apply the same hdr toning that uh, we did for the first uh, image so i will go again to an image adjustment and then i'm gonna choose hdr in here and again this message will open telling me that i need to flare in the document so I'll press yes and then i will apply uh, the same values as I did in the first uh, image in here so we'll put the radius 22 and the strength 0 0.70 and in the gamma in here I will keep it 1 and in the exposure I will make it 0 0.14 and in the detail I will make it 70 and in the highlight I will make it minus 6 and I will press ok and as you can see we have this really cool uh, HDR uh, to our uh, texture in here if I go to history again and I will go back one step you can see the difference before and after all right now we go to select again and I will load the selection that I saved earlier so we press ok 
and as you can see the selection will load now we'll one click to this layer mask icon in here and as you can see it will cut it from the background all right now we we'll give it that kind of yellowish vintage color to it so i would go to adjustment and i'm gonna choose hue saturation and again i will check colorized and i will give it this yellowish color around 50 in here all right and i will make the opacity 50 percent and as you can see i have this really cool vintage look so these are the both example here same texture in different modes depending on the image you will be using just keep in mind to use uh, the multiply and the uh, linear burn on a light image and if it's a dark image use uh, the screen but invert the values of the texture and you're done all right so i hope that you enjoyed and you liked this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and like this video if you find it helpful and have a nice day thank you for watching